I also got shit for sale, you know. This is the book. And it's for sale. Cash, checks, credit cards, wig, weed, food stamps. <laughs> you are on wick because of the weed. <laughs> My book is called From Foster Care to Fame. I was adopted by white people. Yeah. Motherfucking apple. <laughs> and what did your bitch ass do? Touch the motherfucking apple. Burst the flames, bitch. Kill yourself. <laughs> bus with her dress stuck in her underwear, one, like she didn't feel that breeze under that tiny ass skirt, and two, ain't nobody wearing all white on day two of our cycles. <laughs> Misconception about the period, it's not day one that's the monster. Day one is the warning to get out all your fat and dark clothes in the next five to seven days, I'm here to ruin your life, relationship, and risk your children being sent off to social services. stuck with an air ass was fucking anyway, but this week it's a wrap. You better wear latex gloves even if you think about masturbating. Ever heard of the Red Sea? That's me, bitch. Part the waves because I'm coming in strong. Get it now on day one because day two through seven, oh yes, seven, because I saw you eat that entire can of Grand's Biscuits last week and you knew I was coming in. Bread is not the friend to the period cycle. The more carbs, the worse the cycle. Get it together, bitch. You can use a gallon of water anyway. Look at that gut. <laughs> Day one is the precursor for the wrath to come. Day two is the beast. That you better be in the best health of your life for taking some gangster ass vitamins. <laughs> or, or you're gonna have to stand. You're gonna have to stand during your entire period. Uh uh. You can't sit down and risk having that ever so embarrassing spot on the back of your clothes that all your haters won't tell you about. No, they'll let you walk around with that fucking spot in the back of your clothes all day. They'll keep calling you over so you have to get up from your cube and walk 48 miles in slow motion across the office floor. Hey, do you know when the boss is coming back for lunch? Sure. You can take meds, and then you'll either be hyper and bloody being blood from your vagina all over the inside of your legs, making your crotch all mushy while you bounce around all day if you're on 14 shots of espresso, or you can take the meds that leave you lying in blood for five days. You don't move because you're depressed, you go to the bathroom less, you change your napkin less, and then you get toxic shock syndrome. Great, the drugs make you a zombie and eventually kill you via toxic shock syndrome. <laughs> There you have it, your period can kill you and or give you a yeast infection and you're walking around smelling like a swamp of dead rats and seaweed bread. <laughs> women, women, we should get a temporary handicap sticker for three out of the four weeks of the month. We are not on our periods for five days. No way, motherfuckers! We're on our periods for three whole weeks. The week before our period, everything in the house and scream at everyone for breathing and then you cry. You cry about everything and you start to pair things that don't even go together like you're crying because Oprah's on and you can't find your car keys. <laughs> and even though Oprah's show has nothing to do with relationships today, you and I decide to end your perfectly good relationship because car keys symbolize your inability to mobilize on your house. <laughs> and now you've been dependent on your car and gas is credit score is fucked up. You can't afford gas so you're walking down your black crying mascara shirt wrinkle brewing because using trees in LA and you're afraid little boy across the street dying of cancer. <laughs> During the week of blood, whenever speaking with someone, use an old supermodel's trick and stand with your writing hand leg behind you to peel off 10 pounds by pure illusion. Try not to have short conversations with people. People will wonder why you're standing with one leg back sucking in your stomach wildly bad and your eyes holding a gym bag. It took me 
14 hours the last time before they let me go on my own recognizance. I try to tell them, black women, and I get the ghetto smack. I, I, I try to tell them, black women, although typically suspected, are not known for serial murders. Random murders, yes. Serial, no. We do not have time to pick a fucking pattern. We got cramps, guys. <laughs> Uh, and we're in the shower. This part is about you guys. You're, we're in the shower, and there's blood clots falling on the floor, and all of a sudden it's not romantic to fuck in the shower anymore. You're the ones just want to fuck on our periods with your greedy ass. You just. Come on, lay the towel down, baby. Lay the towel down. Where's the lie, though? We're, we're hashtag where's the lie, though? Was, how wet it was. Really? Was it? Who knew? Not me. You think we can feel you with a pint of blood gushing between our legs? You think you've done something here? Clearly not. Tampons, an evil man thought of tampons. He just wanted to imagine us playing with our JJs. Dear Perfect, you think inventing expanding tampons is preparing us for more of a horny as hell the day after our periods? You make those things to expand our vaginal walls for your penis, really? I think an 18 pound baby is bigger than your fucking dick, and if we can take that for 24 hours straight, I don't think you need to invent any fucking oversized yeast infection carrying q tip that stretches into shape. And you wonder why we hate men and kids, or we hate them both motherfuckers, don't get it twisted! Either walk around with a mini dick in our vagina for five days, a cup that'll spill over onto our clothes. Does anybody use the cup? It's supposed to be like environmentally safe. <laughs> Always the white people. Yes! <laughs> I don't take showers either! Yes! Eve, I hope you choke on an apple seed, bitch. <laughs> 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 